God. I'm in so much emotion right now, man. I mean, I regret not watching this game tonight, man. Um, obviously, AEW had a pay-per-view tonight. I actually paid the 50 bucks to watch uh, the AEW pay-per-view, but Notre Dame <laughs> beats Clemson. 47-40 to 40 in double overtime. And I will say too, I am a Notre Dame fan. You beat the number one ranked team in college football. A team that was a five and a half point favorite. In the game of the year, everybody thought when the college football season was going to start in this pandemic of a season, that the game of the year was going to be Alabama and Georgia. What happened? That game was a dud. Alabama fucking dominated Georgia. This game had so much emotion. And the only thing that I was getting updates about this game was on ESPN.com. I actually did uh, box scoring watching tonight. But... This team, man, is a team of destiny. And I know I'm probably going to come back on here tomorrow, talk shit about the Dallas Cowboys, fucking go on my rant, as always, because the Cowboys are going to lose again. What else is new? Team's fucking complete garbage. But I said on my social media a couple of weeks ago, Notre Dame football is what I'm paying attention to right now over the Dallas Cowboys and New England Patriots. And this moves Salem through the rest of the season. I mean, yeah. They're going to go up against Boston College. I know their next three out of four games are going to be on the road. Boston College. And then you got to play North Carolina. Those are back-to-back -back road games. I think we're going to be fine. Then you have Syracuse as your last home game of the season. And then we got to finish off the ACC season against uh, Wake Forest on the road. Originally, uh, that was supposed to happen in early in the season. But we all know what happened with Notre Dame. They had an outbreak of COVID. But, man, this is a fucking team of destiny right here. And... This team has a chance to have a fucking special season right here. I mean, you got fucking playmakers. Not just on offense. But on defense. I, I wish the Dallas Cowboys and the New England Patriots had freaking playmakers on offense and defense this season. A veteran quarterback in Ian Book Who's going to win them big games. This was a statement win for the fucking fighting Irish tonight. And if they can go undefeated the rest of the way. And I know they got to play Clemson again. You know the rematch is going to happen. The ACC championships. If you can beat Clemson again. and But the next time that these two play. You're going to have Trevor Lawrence as your quarterback. If you beat Clemson a second time around, you got a shot at a national championship. That's one thing that I want to see with Notre Dame. Before I leave this earth, I want to see them win a national championship. I'm just so emotional tonight, man. It's a great night for college football, man. I mean, with all of the stuff that's happening with the elections and all, the division that we're seeing, you know, the divided country, this was a game that, in my honest opinion, took this divided nation, this talk about a divided nation away for four and a half hours. And you saw a damn 
great football game. I was going to say damn good, but I was going to rephrase it right there. Damn great football game. Game of the year. A lot of Shakespearean drama. What else is, is there to say, man? Thank you all for watching. Peace. Go fight in Irish.